Tucker of uh, RP Techworks, and I'm a uh, technical demonstrator of the products. Um, what we've got here at the moment is a 3D printer, which is printing with uh, PLA plastic, cornstarch based, so there are no fumes. It's biodegradable and environmentally friendly. We start with a 3D model. That can be made in any 3D modeling software at all. Uh, the only criteria is that it outputs into an STL file format. Almost all 3D modeling software does. Um, once that 3D model has been made, uh, you put it into our software, which essentially takes that model, slices it down, and then sets a series of numeric codes to inform the print head where it's got to move. And then you click go, and it starts printing. Fantastic. So these print heads then are laying out like a molten liquid onto a... Absolutely. They're heating the plastic to about 205 degrees C in this case. Right. Depends on the type of plastic you're using. And they're laying out uh, about a 300 micron layer of plastic onto the board. Um, you'll probably be able to see there's a, a layer that goes down first, which then the model is built up on. And that layer just chips off afterwards, so you're left with a smooth finish to the bottom of the model. So this is a kind of a domestic fun use of something that's been used in industry? Absolutely. I mean, the technology's been uh, around in industry for at least 20 years. And it was originally designed as a rapid prototyping machine. This has now brought it down to a price point and an ease of use that makes it accessible to the home hobbyist, small engineering firms. I and mean, we're still producing... Um, engineering products for prototype but we're also creating some quite fun and interesting little designs for for hobbies and models fantastic yeah so, uh, talk us through some of the uh, models you've got on the table here that's been made well essentially the the unit we've got um, produces a maximum size of about six inches by six inches by six inches cube so making something like uh, a little vase this has been made up using eight layers to form the outside shape of the vase and it's quite tough and resilient um, right the way up to solid models I mean this has been uh, filled to about 60% of plastic all the way through um, so it's absolutely tough solid for bigger models this has been made in four parts and wired together and obviously if this was a finished piece it would be neatly put together and you can actually fusion bond the sections together. Okay. Um, with these plastics, you can use an acrylic glue, you can paint them, you can put a, a clay layer over the top if you're modelling with them. There's all sorts of things you can do. And the properties of the plastic make it useful and resilient to be used on things like the cog that you've got there. Absolutely. And within the software of the machine, you can set how much of the plastic is being injected into the model. So you can make something very fine and delicate and quite flimsy if you want to get a light in there and have light projecting out through the plastic or you can make something absolutely solid that you can use as a vessel container whatever you want to do i've taken the amazing big ben model that you've got over there absolutely printed. how long would it take for the printer to print something like that well that model's been made in seven sections and each section has taken approximately four hours to print so in total, you're looking at a 28-hour build time okay. for that whole model, and that includes the clock faces and everything else. And the cost of running a machine like this? Depends entirely on how many models you're making. Um, the filament is an industry standard, so it's not specific to our machine. Um, we supply it at about 40 pounds a kilo, and a model like that, weighs in at about 200 grams. So one kilo of filament would make four of those with a bit of wastage. Um, so it's not massively expensive to run. Um, and with everything else, the software can be controlled so that you're using less filament if you don't need quite such a high resolution. If you're building something very technical where it has to be spot on, you're gonna use more filament. So it's gonna be a bit more expensive.